Bhartia's story, uh, which is just not about uh, the crime and a rising crime as far as uh, a crime against women are concerned in the state of Madhya Pradesh, but also how insensitive we as people have become. It is a shameful story. This, in fact, uh, comes in from uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh's Ujjain, where uh, reports suggest that a 12-year-old uh, girl was not only sexually assaulted, uh, was raped, but when this girl, soaked in blood, uh, without any clothes, was trying to uh, get help, in fact, uh, she went from uh, one place to another, one house to another, knocking on doors. Nobody came forward to help this poor girl. Now, uh, in these CCTV visuals that you can see where the uh, girl who has been bleeding went door to door asking for help. You can see a man refusing, in fact, asking her, uh, you know, almost uh, as a gesture, just shooing her away uh, from his standing in front of his own house. These visuals... And if I, I'm, I, I, you know, if it doesn't shake, it, it, there are certain visuals, ladies and gentlemen, uh, stories after covering so, for so many years, the stories of crime, which you actually feel that little by little, uh, the sensitivity as human beings is dying. There is no other visual story that will tell you uh, that can represent that. In fact, these visuals, which many will no longer find shocking, uh, this is where a society violence against women and minors, it is so normalized that this kind of a behavior, this kind of a situation doesn't even shake the conscience of the people. The CCTV footage has been uh, caught at the uh, Badnagar Road, about 15 kilometers from Ujjain. The girl is wandering on the streets in a rag, barely covering her. Eventually, she reached an ashram where the priest, in fact, uh, suspected that they, she had suffered sexual violence, covered her with a towel and then rushed her to the district hospital. The medical examination of the girl has confirmed rape. The girl's condition is now stable. Though she was, uh, in fact, in a dire state, she was shifted to Indore. The policemen, those who shifted her, in fact, also came ahead and uh, gave her blood because uh, she had lost so much uh, blood during this ordeal. SIT का गठन उसमें कर दिया गया है एक संदिग्ध को हिरासत में भी लिया है बच्ची अभी ठीक तरह से बता नहीं पा रही है उज्जैन की होती प्रतीत नहीं हो रही है वो उज्जैन से बाहर की कहीं प्रतीत है स्वास्थ्य का हाल क्या है इसके लिए स्वास्थ्य की व्यवस्था में महाकाल थाना अंतर्गत एक प्रकरण कायम हुआ है अज्ञात लोगों के विरुद्ध जिसमें दुष्कर्म की बात सामने आई है जिसकी पुष्टि मेडिकल के द्वारा की गई है इसमें बच्ची की हालत नाजुक होने से उसको इंदौर रेफर किया गया था और जो भी बेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट है उसको वहाँ पे अवेलेबल कराया गया था ब्लड की कमी के कारण जब ब्लड की रिक्वायरमेंट थी तो पुलिस वालों ने ही ब्लड भी वहाँ पे दिया है इसमें एक बड़ी टीम एस गठित की गई है और लगातार सभी जगह पे इसको हम लोग ट्रैक कर रहे हैं और जनता से भी यही अपील है किसी को भी इसके बारे में कोई भी जानकारी हो तो पुलिस को तुरंत बताएं सर बच्ची ने पूरे शहर में लगभग दस से बारह किलोमीटर पैदल चलकर इधर से उधर पहुँची थी तो कहाँ पर उसके साथ में घटना हुई थी किस तरीके से ट्रेस हुई फरियादिया के द्वारा क्योंकि बताया नहीं गया है और अभी तक घटना की जब जानकारी मिली है और उससे पहले तक जो हुआ है उसको हम लोग बैक ट्रैक कर पा रहे हैं तो घटना कहाँ हुई है घटना स्थल क्या है उसकी जांच अभी विवेचना का विषय है जिसका जल्दी खुलासा किया जाएगा it's a shocking incident from Madhya Pradesh, but I just want to go through some figures, ladies and gentlemen, that will uh, give you a sense of how dismal the state's performance is as far as the safety of women is concerned. Now, in 2019, 52,119 women went missing in 2020, and we are talking about the state of Madhya Pradesh. 52,357 women were reported missing from the state. In 2021, 55,704 women were reported missing from the state. The state in 2021, as per the uh, NCRB data, recorded the highest number of rapes in the country. 6,462 rapes were cases were recorded in the state of Madhya Pradesh. In 2021 itself, victims uh, in these rape cases, uh, the 6,462 rape cases, 54.3%, more than half of these victims were minor victims. Now, 54.3% uh, rape cases, uh, you know, some, uh, somewhere comes around to be, the number of uh, cases uh, in 2021 comes around to be a very, very shocking 
18 rapes per day. This is the NCRB data. Let me very quickly go across to my colleague Anurag Dwari, who is uh, joining us at this moment. Uh, Anurag, the, the statistics that you had sent, and I just wrote, uh, you know, read those statistics, they are shocking in itself. But this story, not only from the state, uh, you know, which has many schemes which run in the name of women, one specifically as the Lardley scheme, this shows that the state government has not only failed, but we as society are so insensitive that nobody went forward to help this girl. Uh, yes, Ankit, and I feel that these stats or these visuals, uh, you know, uh, uh, hardly shock a nation or a society where crime against women and children become uh, chillingly common. Uh, you have mentioned about Ladli Lakshmi and Ladli Behana Yojana. If my camera person can show you these visuals across the state, across the city where the chief minister, uh, you know, assuring women and children and girls for their safety, for their well-being, for their economic safety. But what's the use? Uh, because we can see in those visuals a 12-year-old mentally challenged semi-naked and bleeding girl from rape injuries went from door to door asking for help people did not turn their eyes away they stared at her but refused to help uh, shooing away from uh, uh, you know as she approached for help in Ujjain and uh, 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 these statistics are one thing but the apathy of society and uh, 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 this comes from a state where before each and every so you can see these political gimmicks as well as uh, you know uh, the symbolism of the state why I'm telling you because he, uh, before each and every government function uh, the CM himself does Kanya Poojan but uh, on the ground if you compare these statistics if you see these visuals I think these uh, symbolism these uh, uh, this tokenism is, is of no use uh, if you see this data if you compare this data or, or if you see these visuals so uh, the, the question is not only on the police or the administration or the government uh, the people of Ujjain also are in, uh, you know, are in a question because Absolutely. she walked for uh, a good 8 to 10 kilometers semi-naked but no one came out, no one, uh, you know, helped her. A priest from an ashram took her to a local hospital. From there, she was referred to Indore. Ankit? Anurag, uh, you know, the story that you have brought out, uh, I, I, there, are, there are no words, uh, no sufficient adjectives to in fact say how shocking this is and uh, of course uh, the behavior of the people, particularly I just am uh, looking at this gentleman shooing this girl away who is in dire need of help. Thank you so much Anurag for joining us uh, with your inputs on this. Uh, Dr. Ranjana Kumari is joining us at this uh, moment. She's Director, Center for Social Research and Chairperson for Women Power Connect and uh, well-known women uh, activist, writer, academic. Uh, Ranjana ji, thank you for speaking to us. Uh, it just feels that, you know, uh, we, are, we report these stories day in, day out. And with this story, it just feels that a little bit of humanity uh, dies within even the reporters, those who have been reporting this story. How insensitive can this be? Whatever she went through, nobody came forward to help her. Well, you know, you're so right that uh, somehow we are living in a sick society. And, uh, you know, every, not a week, not a, you know, every alternate day, some or the other report of gruesome brutality against women is reported from all over. And this case indicates how sick we have become now as a society. We don't want to come forward and help a child who, who's bleeding, who's naked, who has been raped. Then people are shooing her away. And she's also not mentally well, as your report, reporter has just, you know, talked about it. So, you know, all this drama on the one side, Kanya Puja and, and, you know, Devi and oh, I do not know, Bandana, all kinds of drama on one side. On the other side, look at the way ch children are being brutalized. And I think one thing for sure, because she doesn't have any kind of whereabouts, she's not been able to talk about her family, her address. That means this child has been trafficked. They have brought her, they have been, I'm sure, raping her repeatedly. And finally, she somehow has escaped that place. So anybody could have opened the door, made her to sit down, ask her to you know, just, just call the police, give her something to eat, some kind of you know support that they could, any family could have done that. But look at the indoor people, shame on people like these, that they are not only 
you know, not only seeing her bleeding, like you can't, yes. you know, how inhuman you can be, how sick you can be in your mind to just not come forward and help such a small child who's, you know, who has been brutalized. All this will have to now stop. All these things, 3,000 rupees to this way, man, that, that kind of a puja, you know, they're You're right. Picked, the chief minister of the state is even worshipping them by washing their feet. Why do we need to wash a girl's feet? We need a girl to be protected and to be looking after. Absolutely. Giving her nutrition. If she's not mentally well, she should be sent to a hospital. Ranjana ji, you know, and, and specifically, I, 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 the problem then is that you start talking about one case and then, you know, uh, politics gets involved and they will say, we are not talking about uh, X state or Y state. But the fact remains, in X state or Y state, or uh, as we presented the data as far as Madhya Pradesh is concerned, one of the worst figures as far as safety for women uh, goes uh, across the country. Uh, are we so, uh, you know, as a government and as a society, because the numbers are so large and that every third day there is some brutality which is reported, have you become so insensitive that the government doesn't care and we as society have stopped caring about this as well? Well, you know, government doesn't care. That's very clear because, you know, what instead of all these big, big posters and, you know, trying to show themselves that they are, you know, doing so much for women, they should have talked. He said the chief minister should talk about it. What is he doing about his state is topmost in terms of rape. What has he done about it? We want to know how, what kind of a policing system has he developed to really check that? How is he sensitizing the society? He is everybody's brother or mama, I know what all they... He wants himself to be called. Is this what kind of family and mama and brother we need? No, we don't need this. This is totally wrong. And, and you know, these days you are absolutely right. The politics is happening that one state, oh, why, why don't you look at Bengal? Why don't you look at Madhya Pradesh? Why don't you look at Rajasthan? Don't play politics over children's being raped and bleeding and going to ask for help and nobody's helping. Don't play politics on that. We don't need politics. We need proper system of protection. We need good policing. We need a sensitive society. Absolutely. We need a society which can come forward and say, yeah, come on, beta, come and sit down here. Let me you know, give her some comfort. Give her some kind of a support. And look at the way, I mean, I looking at this picture, my heart is bleeding. What kind of a um, you know, society we have become. Absolutely. And, uh, and uh, politicians should hang their head in shame for what is happening in this kind of a well, they these... should better do it because, you know, every time when I come to speak about it, I feel more and more angrier about what is happening to us as people in our society right. and our systems. You're right. And uh, these visuals uh, should, I mean, all of us, the entire country uh, should hang its head in shame that we have allowed the situation to come to a head where children in this country are not safe and nobody wants to even help them. If you can't uh, do anything else, at least make sure that you can extend a uh, little bit of help as far as uh, such desperate situations are concerned. Ranjana, thank you uh, for uh, joining us at this uh, moment. Uh, we'll keep a very close uh, eye on this story, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, we are hoping that the perpetrators of this crime are dealt with with the most severest punishment that can be given to them under the law. And we are also hoping that this does serve as an example Open your eyes. This could be anybody, any of us. Don't think that, you know, anybody is safe and this can never happen to you. So please, uh, if you are, if you see somebody in such desperate uh, state, go ahead, call the police, help that person. All right. Um, uh, what we'll uh, try and do, we'll uh, uh, keep going back uh, to this story because, uh, you know, now this is also becoming uh, a big political, in fact, uh, headline as far as Madhya Pradesh is concerned. Remember, the state is going to the uh, polls in just a short while uh, from now, in a month or so. And uh, uh, at this moment, ladies and gentlemen, th this does come across as a big question to the government of Mr. Shivraj Singh Chauhan, the BJP government, which is in the state at this moment. And this is going to become a big uh, election uh, uh, you know, uh, issue as well.